Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials. So continuing the Spring Secret topic, if you uh, have the same configuration as we did in the previous video and you try to get enemies, you get 401 because you need to authenticate with basic authentication. Uh, so if you add here, let's add the David Ojo and the Academy. It uh, works, but if you try to create an enemy, it will fail. And uh, you have here forbidden. So even if you add the authentication here, we do have the authentication already. So if you go to authorization and then you add here basic auth, you still get 403. And why is that? Because the cross site request forgery it's uh, enabled by default. So for all the HTTP requests, the CSRF is enabled and that will prevent people to do actions that you are not trying to do. So for example, uh, someone could be executing script to send uh, some money to their own account based on the website you are visiting, the, your own bank website. So there are a couple ways. You can disable the CSRF, uh, CRS, CSRF, uh, disable. But uh, this is just too easy. Let me show you how we can create a kind of configuration so we can use it here. So let's just add here dot CSRF and then the CSRF will require you to generate a token and this token should be sent on native request. The request that will change the state of the server, in this case a post request, but request. And here you just uh, type cookie CSRF token repository with HTTP only false and then end. So when you do this, and you go back, for example, and you execute a request to get the enemies, and you check the cookies, you will see that now you have this XSRF token. Now you need to get this token and send this token in the post request. So this is a process that we can do it manually. So for example, let's uh, add here the key X access RF token and the value, we get the value from the request right here, the response actually. And then we execute and then we have the value available. So if we send now uh, the body, we have one uh, object inside our database. Well, if you want to create like a kind of a script for that, you can uh, go to the test tab and just create like a JavaScript that will get that token for you. So for example, we can create something like here and we have postman get response cookie and the cookie is x s x s r f token and we can set this postman dot set environment variable and we give a name x s r f token and then this x s r f cookie that we created here. And now we just need to create here one uh, environment for us. So for example, let's create, uh, click on edit. I don't know this dev to join MV, where is it coming from? But just, so let's create one. Well, let's go with that one as well, dev dojo. Env. So we now have one and we just select here. So when we do this and we select, we execute the send again. So something went wrong, our tests are wrong. So postman.get response cookie. Okay, so postman that set environment variable. That is a typo here. Variable. 
and then again again there you go so if you check it here now we have this ssrf token and now uh we can replace here with xsrf token exactly the value that we have here and after we send body let's change the body one piece too we forgot to let's double check here check the values there you go okay we're getting forbid them let me double check if we're getting the okay so we are getting more stuff that we actually are looking for so i just want to get this one make sure that we're getting the, that right one let's do the authentication again here dev dojo we do get some values okay Let's change our value here. Okay, now I believe we, okay, now we have only the token and then boom, there you go. So that, what was the, the error? Okay, so now that we know how it works, uh, for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to, I will leave this like here and then I will disable. There we go. And I will leave this as well. So it's up to you if we're going to keep this or not. Okay, so what else we have to talk about? Uh, let's secure our endpoints. Now, all the endpoints at the controller are being secured at, in the same way. But for example, sometimes you would like to secure some endpoints in a different way. Let's say to delete and to update, for example, or to post everything that's going to change the state in the server. We would like to have only um, administrators doing that. And then to get to find, we can let in users do it. Uh, it would be a good idea if we had like a, a URL that would like be the same for all of them. Let's say if we had all the delete and update starting with slash admin. But so far we don't have that and there is one option with spring where we can pre-authorize per method for that just add pre-authorize and here has role and you ask the role that will be required to delete um, an enemy but when you do this you have to enable globally just go back to security configuration and here enable global method security and you just tell hey uh proposed enabled are now true this means that every one that is trying to delete now an enemy it will have he will have to use the administrator account uh let's go back by the way we have this uh using generated security password because it started when we added this enable global method security but this does not work so even if you copy this one so let's copy and we remove all the cookies and everything and we try to to get by using user and that one removing the cookies as well you will see that we get uh, 401 so we can remove these ones as well um, so we still need uh, a valid one so the dojo academy so DevDoge Academy, it's uh, a user with user permission. So if we go back uh, here, we can see DevDojo Academy user. Now let's try to delete with the DevDoge user. Going back to Postman, we go to delete and we have the ID number five. So we want to delete ID number five, authorization, basic of DevDojo Academy. So we get 403 forbidden, so access is denied now we would like to be able to delete then we just change here to William and then we click send and it was completely removed from the database so this way you have a fine-grained kind of security that you can apply for each one of your methods and there are ways where you can uh, even create a custom method here that will check uh, your database for example if you have like more fine-grained permission than the uh, the roles available on Spring. 
So this is it for this class. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye.